Hi. Hi, I'm Greg Papendick from General Motors. Ray Wirt with Jalopnik. So, GM dragged me out here, said, Ray, we got a HHR, a Chevy HHR outside, um, and we've got a cool techie feature that we want to show you. Which would be the personal audio link. Uh, sure. <laughs> All right, so what is the personal audio link? Personal audio link, uh, uh, or PAL for short, is our version of... Oh, that's I, adorable. I, PAL? That's so well, adorable. You know, it's oh, sweet. so adorable. All right, go on. Well, you know, the thing is, is when we were talking with marketing, we were looking at different options. You know, it's like uh, you could have a nice picture of an HHR with who's your buddy, and then the iPod next to it, who's your pal? And uh, I know, no one thought, like, who's your daddy? Yeah, well, we did, but we decided that who's your buddy sounded better. Ah. Well, at any rate, this is our personal audio link, which is an interface for the iPod, an integration to the actual factory radio so that you can not only uh, listen to your iPod through your factory radio, but control the, the iPod or, and or display what is being uh, played. So we're not talking just like an aux in jack, we're talking about something a little bit more... Integrated. Integrated. You can't display and you can't control with the aux jack. Uh, FM modulated units that you can purchase in the aftermarket, you can't control and you can't display, it only listens. The other thing about FM modulation that, that's unfortunate is they tend to have a lower level of audio quality versus this being a direct input to the back of the radio. Since we're here in Detroit at the Detroit Auto Show, uh, let's go uh, check out some sights and sounds of downtown Detroit. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I really hope that um, I'm still not drunk from last night. I, <laughs> I really, really hope. I am actually pretty... Uh, pretty happy with the interface. It's very, very intuitive and it tries to mimic as much as possible, you know, the type of function that the iPod has. For instance, you know, you select music, we can select by artist, we can select by album, genre, audiobook, podcast, just basically the same kind of things that you can do uh, in your iPod. Oh, look, and it even puts a Chevy, you, you guys have Chevyized my iPod. I'm I think I'm just vomiting in my mouth a little. That's fine, but um, the good news is, is that it goes away oh, when good. you That's take it out of the vehicle. All right, all right. GM actually today has three different types of serial communications in our vehicle. We have what we call Class 2, and we have a GM LAN both in 11-bit and 29-bit architecture. So that's, that's the communication that goes between the radio and external devices. Okay. Why not just create a new system? Like, you know, Ford's got this sync system, and, you know, why, why are you guys well, using the existing architecture as opposed to There's a couple, something different, new? a couple different reasons. Number one, being it that we're in the dealer-installed world, we don't necessarily have the freedom to make changes to the factory um, audio system as it sits. So we, we are part of General Motors, but we are not part of the... Um, factory that actually designs the vehicles. Do you, do you guys kind of feel like the redheaded stepchild sometimes? Yeah. That, that word has been used more than once. That okay. Phrase, yeah. <laughs> so what we've been doing is looking for ways to get fast to market with more integrated solutions than what you can find in the aftermarket. Okay, so why don't you walk us through a little bit like how this works, how the system works, so that okay. our viewers get an opportunity to uh, Experience it? Yeah, sure. We'll use that. Okay. Works. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> so basically, um, you know, on your iPod, you have different types of selections, and in this case, uh, you know, we can select by artist, uh, album, genre, uh, and I don't know your iPod, so we'll just start with artist and see where that takes can, can, us. Can we find uh, Bob Seger uh, uh, like a rock? I Absolutely. mean, we're we're in a Chevy, and that's on here. Oh, it is on here. Yeah. Okay. So we just decided that we were going to select by artist, and yeah, I can enough. bring this back up yeah. to see. All right, and I'm going to take it to B so that I can make sure that I don't have to go through all the A's first. Right. So now when that comes back up, yeah, and I really me, don't want you to see like that. I got Ace of Base on my uh, my okay. my iPod. But, okay, yeah, don't even ask. Okay. It's well, best if you don't. It's yeah, it's. Not I know good. Our, our our engineers don't like to use my iPod when they're doing their yeah, development work because it's pretty expensive. All right, like. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Oh, that's the dulcet tones of. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. It's, it obviously makes a it makes a difference whether you know what your own uh, iPod has on it. However, it's uh, you can just pretty much go through the whole iPod. You could even say I want to look at all songs and then just go through them one by one until you find the song you want to look at. We should just listen. This is and sing along if you feel the need. Maybe. I was 18. Didn't I you don't care. 
Working for peanuts, not a dime to share. Give me some, some other examples of how you can kind of scroll through the music, what else we can do with this. The display, this is one thing that I really like, is that we have different, you could just display your title, you can just display your artist, but I like to do it on displaying dynamic because of what it does, it rolls through the artist, the song title, pretty much anything that we do for the North American market, we do in uh, French, English, and Spanish. Why is there no Hebrew? Uh, because at this point in time, that is not a major language in the United States. Now, if we were to export this to Israel, then we could do Hebrew. In the back of my mind is how we can take our electrical accessories global. Because obviously there's people in Europe and there's people in Japan and there's people in other parts of the world I've heard that. that like iPod. Oh, look, it's Detroit News. All right, hold on. I got to go get a paper. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. Just, I'll, be, I'll be right back. I'm just got to get a Detroit News. I'm here anyway, so I should get it. We gotta go fast, I didn't pay for it. <laughs> they think I'm bringing it back. Okay, so where were we? Oh, I'm sorry, hey, you know what? Go yourself back there. Um, don't worry, we'll bleep that out. We'll, just, we'll leave it in or something. Right, hey, yeah. you know what, we're busy and we're filming. Yeah, me! Punk kid, driving a Jeep. Oh wait, I drive a Jeep. Um, <laughs> um, can, you, can you find the song Eat Steak? What would the artist be? I don't know. Um, you, can you do it by song title? Said, yes, I can do. Uh, I was just going to say, I can't do it by album, but I can do by, uh, let's see, all songs, and you want each stakes. Yeah, so that would be E. So we should be able to do a search of the No ABC Eagles. and songs. Oh. We can't find, so we're playing Weird Al Yankovic instead? <laughs> like, it's going through, like, uh, by... Like the name by the of actual the... list that's in there. Oh. It's not actually setting it up by A, B, C, D. Th that's bad. Yeah, that, no. And I will that's have an audio book. I will have to uh, ask our engineering team about that when I get back because I was not aware of that. Yeah, that's kind of an issue. What about if I wanted to play like an individual song? Which like, one? Uh, Hell's Bells. All right, let's see if it's on there. There it is. All right, now, what if I wanted to um, uh, be able to use like other functions of the iPod? Like, I, I've got a video, I've got a, a, a video pod in here. Like, can I look at the pictures? Okay, the iPod actually is set up so that when you are That's doing so external, <laughs> while you're doing external control, it disables the keyboard and the display. So, obviously, you're not going to be able to watch a video from that display while you're driving down the road, anyway. But more importantly, we wouldn't want to do that because actually, uh, that's illegal. Okay. So we don't. It have, is. We yes, it is illegal in uh, for you to be driving down the road and watching a moving video. It is. Oh. So what we do is try to avoid. How the, about? Can I email when I'm riding up? No, I probably yeah. want to watch what I'm doing. So what's going to be? What's the pricing of this? This uh, the MSRP on this is $159 plus whatever the dealer charges to install, and that all depends on your area of the country. You know, some dealers charge uh, a higher hourly rate than others. Uh, typically, it takes about an hour to install. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just checking to see if my dealer's here, and uh, I don't see him. So you know, we're just gonna go. Um, now, no, 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 he's not here. Okay, never mind. Um, so it's currently available on which vehicles now? Currently it's available on the HHR only. We uh, just started selling it uh, towards the end of last year. Okay. But as I said, we're working right now to roll this out across the other vehicles. What about the, uh, the, the, the Stingray Corvette? Will that be getting it? Um, we will not be looking necessarily to go backwards on vehicles. Okay, like you got a bunch of kids in the car and they all got the iPods. And, you know, let, let's say we want to put that one on. Well, I wouldn't recommend the driver do it. Okay. That's because, probably a good idea. Because as everybody knows, you have to squeeze to pull off your iPod. Right. I'm just going to throw that and one right you always there. want to have both hands on the wheel. Right. All, at all times, you never want to take both hands off of the wheel when you're driving. Okay. Not a smart idea. Now, which iPods does this work with? This works with all of the current uh, generation and the Gen 4. 
Well, uh, I, I appreciate you uh, you giving us this little uh, demonstration and going along with our tour of uh, downtown Detroit. We appreciate it. And I appreciate we... you not scaring me any more than you did. <laughs> well, that's how, you know, we wanted to be, we wanted to be nice. This is our first time working with you, so, uh, you know.